afternoon and welcome to BBC News. Uh, we begin with breaking news this hour. A 33-year-old woman has died after being injured in a crush at a concert at London's Brixton O2 Academy on Thursday. Two other people remain in critical condition. The concert by singer Asha Kay had to be abandoned partway through. The Met say that a large number of people tried to force their way inside the venue. Well, our correspondent Louisa Pilbeam is uh, here and is following this story. What have the Mets said in the last half hour or so, Louisa? Well, incredibly sad news, and I've spoken to the Met Police, and they have issued a statement. Um, they have named a woman who has died. She was in a critical condition. They say she's died. She was called Rebecca Icomello. She was 33 of Newham. And they say that specialist officers are continuing to provide support to her family. They have also said that two other women, aged 21 and 23, remain in a critical condition. Um, a post-mortem examination on the woman, Rebecca Ikumelo, who died, will be carried out tomorrow in Greenwich. Um, and they've said, as I said, that specialist officers will be with the family of that woman who died. Now, the, the police um, have uh, issued um, a message on social media as well, mm -hmm. haven't they? If I just read through that. Uh, the police investigation into the Institute O2 Brixton Academy on Thursday continues. Sadly, one of the women who was critically injured died at hospital this morning. And as you say, Louisa, specialist officers are continuing to provide support to her family. Now, of course, the investigation has been underway for a few days now. It has, and they're investigating um, a large number of videos have emerged on social media, and the police will be using these. They have specified that this is an urgent investigation and that they have appealed for people to uh, send them any video, any footage, and they said that they have a lot of this footage already. Um, they said they've set up an online page where people can submit photos and videos, and there were around 4,000 potential witnesses. So this is a huge incident, and they need to verify and see you know, what happens in terms of that investigation, but there is one underway presently. So it's going to take them quite a while to go through all of that, but they're still mm. keen to hear from more people. How can they do that? They are. Um, they have said about that there is this online page. Um, they said that they need your information to try and establish what happens, uh, what had happened. So if people go on to the Metropolitan Police site, they will be able to see further information on that. Louisa, for the moment, thank you very much. Louisa Pilby. Train passengers.